we can't really compare ourselves to Adam and Eve um, in the beginning because we obviously have history that they didn't have. Um, now, what they did have was choice um, and they exercised that choice. Eve deceived into making a wrong choice and Adam following Eve in a redemptive way. Um, now, we still have that free choice, but the difference is we have God in us. We have a relationship with God in which we've already seen what the consequences of the choices are that we've already made. And therefore, those consequences and the effects of our past and the way God has looked to restore us and make us whole from it. Um, in the relationship we have with him, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the way, the truth and the life are there along with the Father to help us make choices. So we make those choices with him rather than independently of him and of course you have you can choose independence you can follow the path of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil if you'd want to but why would you want to that's that's the issue why would i want to do something that's contradictory to the experience i have of, of unconditional love limitless grace and triumphant mercy in my life why would i want to make a decision that would affect my life negatively and take me back onto a path now i'm not saying that this isn't a process or the process of renewing the mind to re remove the lies and neural pathways linked to behaviors and triggers from the past isn't an ongoing one. It is. But the more we enter into a relationship with God and have that relationship on a day to day basis and come into that place where I present myself as a living sacrifice, I don't want free choice. I surrender my free choice. I've, I've done that for the last 10, 12, I don't know, 15 years. I surrender my free choice because I don't want to make choices independently. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't have uh, creativity as a son, but that creativity of a son is uh, founded on the thing. I only want to do what I see the father's doing. I only want to outwork the father's heart as a son not independently i don't need to prove myself or earn anything from god because i realize everything comes free because god is love so that's the motivation in my life which enables me to make choices which are aligned to that now i'm not saying i'm perfect or sometimes i i make a wrong choice but even if i do make a wrong choice i know the mercy of god the grace of God and the love of God are so overwhelming that he will look to bring good out of even the choices I make, which aren't ideal. Um, so I think some of it is when you when you enter into that deep relationship, then you don't have to be afraid of choice. If you make those choices in relationship, not outside of it, if you make relation choices outside of our relationship with God, then they can be hit or miss. Uh, but the more we spend time with God and the more that becomes a constant state of being and a state of communion, the less likely we are to make choices that would contradict that state of union and oneness and intimacy and love. So I would just encourage you just focus not on the choices, but on the relationship and let the relationship inspire the choices. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.